I guess we're uh, moving on to Halloween here. In, uh, Origins of Halloween. I, don't I know can't the... say that name. Samhain. Samhain. Mark the end of harvest season and the onset of winter for the... The Celts. Oh, Celts. That's yeah. a C. Okay. Like the Celtics. <laughs> yeah. It's believed that the veil between the living and the dead was thinnest during thinnest. that time, <laughs> allowing spirits to cross over. Bonfires were a significant part of Samhain celebrations, believed to possess protective and cleansing powers, and people often set places at their tables for deceased loved ones and left offerings of food and drink for wandering spirits. Hmm. Question for you is, where does your belief stand when it comes to origins like this? Do you believe in spirits? I think we were just talking about this. Spirit ghosts and any other supernatural being exists. <laughs> so, uh, well, I don't think this... <clears throat> So, uh, where, where does my belief stand in origins like this? Like, well, I, I'm at a crossroads because I, I go, I'm starting to think, um, you know, especially after going back to California and Holly Hell over there, <laughs> Hollywood, oh I'm like, gosh. I'm thinking, like, is the world really coming to an end? Like, uh, just debauchery and sin and, and if, if you're any type of, you know, I'm a God person. I'm not so much of a church religious person, but I'm, I'm a Same. God. I believe in God, right? So, um so uh, uh, if this is the celebration of like uh and when the uh, they're celebrating in, in, in a sense evil right and <laughs> in the, in the, in the, the darker spirits and you know, the the thin layer there that they can cross over in two different each other's worlds and stuff right is that a good thing to be celebrating or, or are you overthinking it you know are, are you are you celebrating evil and uh, the the devil itself uh, as in a sense of Halloween, are you portraying yeah. that? Or uh, I mean, that's not the question you asked me, but you asked me one of my beliefs on this, like so on this origins, like this. So and I'm at a crossroads because I never thought of it like, no, Halloween's Halloween. Yeah. Halloween's cool. You go out, woogie 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 woogie. You know, you know, <laughs> if you put a ghost thing on, you, candy. you go scare. <laughs> you know, but then, you know, like you know, maybe you worry Michael My or Halloween Michael Myers <laughs> might pop up and get you. But other than that, <laughs> but but then you get people to tell you like. If you're out trick or treat, don't eat the food because the people are putting spells on food. They're like introducing evil into you. Like, like I mean, there's a lot to think about. Like, if, if you listen, but is it a lot of people just talking crazy shit in the world and yeah. feeding just as much crazy in your mind as people trying to feed good in your mind? You know, I, I, what I, what do you think? I'm at a crossroads. I, I don't know. I used to love Halloween, one of my favorite holidays. Now I go, I don't, I don't know. Like I have like throughout uh, the last ten years, slowly stopped celebrating Halloween. I haven't been. You know, I mean, I dress as a vampire <laughs> weekly, but but in a sense, I haven't been to Halloween parties. I used to throw Halloween parties. I haven't. Uh, I used to uh, hand out candy to the kids and dress up, and play spooky music, and all that. It, it, big part of that, but the, I don't know. I've slowly drifted away from all that, and I don't. I don't know why. I not, I never thought of this, but why did I slowly drift away from it? I don't know. Um, I have slowly pulled myself away from it being my favorite holiday, you know. And, and I'm nothing against like Friday the 13th and Halloween. I've never thought against it, but then, but lately I've been at this crossroads and I've been thinking like, what, what, am I, what is going on here? Are we celebrating? Yeah. Is Halloween a celebration of, of evil? Are, are we? Are, is there a big smoke and mirrors thing evil. going on here, or, or what? You know, what do you think? No, I, I definitely agree because, like, for example, in the Dominican Republic, they're huge on, obviously, like, religion and stuff like that. We don't celebrate Halloween. That's, like, not a... It's not a it's thing. It's not a holiday there. Yeah, but, no. I mean, it, now it's been, you know, more, like, like people do it and they'll have, like, Halloween parties and stuff like that. But trick-or-treating is not a thing there. Like, no. it never was when I was growing up, like, ever. Well, see, I might might, might be naive. naive. <clears throat> so when I think Dominican so. Republic and, and your horse's hair getting braided, I start thinking this country. <laughs> and I'm not going to walk five miles house to house to trick-or-treat, you know? No, I mean, we, we <laughs> like, have, you know, like, I mean, even, like, the capital looks like places even better than in, like, Florida. Like, there's some places in, like, Miami that I'm like, am I in, like, a third world country right now? Mm. Where you're like, what the heck? No, it's... it's pretty civilized um it is a developing country but yeah you still have the countryside where you do have to walk like five miles over to the next ranch I mean, or house or something what other like holiday can you walk up to a stranger's house and take who would take candy and food from a stranger that's literally like, what they tell any you given go, day and then you go out your trick or treat you know? smile my feet give me something good to eat, you know um and a stranger who who knows who this person is it could have put like the Appalachians magic on it. It could a witch could have put a spell, or it could be put it in there. It could have put a drop of their blood in there, uh, or 
or something I mean, they or were something doing, or something. They like, were doing stuff like that. And then that. you go home and eat that. You consume that. And like, yeah, Halloween's great. And my tummy's upset. I've eaten so much. And I did that. Uh, I love yeah, trick or treating. I, mean, I had sacks and pillowcases. when I like, first moved to the U.S., I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah let's go run Free candy? Our... Let's do it. So, like, I mean, <laughs> does that even make sense? And then, then I know they've tried to make Halloween's that we would hear about the razor blades and needles and I, apples heard, and stuff yeah. like that. But then they tried to make it ha- uh, safer with uh, block parties or, or even wrestling shows. I've I've done wrestling shows for Halloween just to bring the community in to put them in a place instead of out trick-or-treating and have them come into mm-hmm. a safer environment and watch an event instead of uh, go house to house getting candies. But like, um, but I wasn't thinking Halloween, was I celebrating it? The, the devil or evil or in any sense on Halloween, but basically that's what you're really doing, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, if you if you really think about it, and then like worshiping like dead spirits and stuff like that, it's kind of so. Scary. Are you opening? Like, are you like welcoming them them into your <laughs> life like a Ouija board? Yeah, I wouldn't. I never play Ouija. Like I, I, refuse, I don't mess with Ouija. I, I've never. I, I refuse, touched one one I've time. I've seen but so many stories, and yeah. I believe in it. I mean. Because if you believe in good, so if you believe in God and you believe in, like, greater spirits, like, you have to believe that there's bad. Like, you can't have good well, without bad. You had bad. the El Guapo lady come braid the hair. Si <laughs> Guapa. Si Guapa. <laughs> she said something to me the other day, and I sent a picture of this horse head sideways and said, don't you go braid in my hair. <laughs> no, I was like, oh, my God, I would never. I mean, if I was to be, like, a, you know, some kind of spirit or something spooky, I would definitely be the Si Guapa. So I could have, like, long, luscious hair, walk mm. backwards, braid <sighs> hair. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, do I believe in spirits, ghosts, and other supernatural beings? Yes, I do. <laughs> I've, I've spoken percent. many times. Like this morning, <laughs> I, I promise you. I, maybe I just had an overactive imagination. I didn't sleep much last night. I tossed and turned. I couldn't sleep. Um, maybe the alpha brain is just uh, making you see no, things you've never seen No, the alpha brain was like three days ago. <laughs> it was like, or however many days ago. That was Sunday. Like, uh, today's Thursday. Like, four oh, days geez. ago. So, uh no, oh, but I was really spooked out. But I've seen things. I've told you the story about in England, the, whole, uh, the yeah. one room, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, there was a place yeah. in uh, Ireland. Uh, it's, it's a true story. It's all these older places, it, it seems like. It was like the, the, it was this big, big festival hall like in the hotel. And so stuff. We, we walk up to it, and the other wrestlers there. I think uh, one big Peter was there, and there was another guy named Lee. And I can't remember who the other guys are there. I don't, I don't think Frankie Sloan was there. But, but Big Pete was there, and I, and I know Lee because Lee took the room, and they were like, we were standing outside the place, and um, I said, I'm not going in there. They go, why not? I go, bro, there's something bad going on here. I got a re- I was outside of the place. I said, I got a really bad feeling. I don't want to go in here. And, you know, they're like, come on, man. And then we, they open up the door. What's the first thing you see? A huge Bible open up. I go, oh, bro, they don't have that big Bible there for no reason. <laughs> like, oh, my God. And he's like, I'll oh, stop it, big big Peter. He's like, stop it. No, they're gone. And, and because I had wrestled longer you have seniority, right? So you can pick the bigger room, right? So like if you were the driver, if you were driving the car, you get a choice too first because you're doing all the driving. So uh, you could pick a nice. bigger room, have room choice. If you have seniority over there, they kind of do it like that. You could pick the bigger room. Like, oh, you have this room. Big, huge room. I opened the door of that room. I said, oh, hell no. I am not staying in this room. Really nice room. I said, I am not staying in this room. And uh, we are walking around. We went downstairs and, and big piece, he's like six, 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 eight. I don't know. He's a big muscular guy, right? Um, it's this little tiny room, like little tiny, like a closet. Like, can I stay in here with you? He's like, you want to stay in here with me? I go, yeah, oh I do. So, uh, the nighttime came. Uh, they were walking around. There was an Irish dance festival going on. Like they were doing Irish dance, you know, and yeah. stuff. And I was walking around. I go, man, I'm going. I'm going back to the room. I didn't feel comfortable anywhere on that, on that, that the grounds of this place. So I go down to that room, and then I swear that I could see orbs and stuff moving and lights coming in and out the windows and stuff and i'm like i'm down there like just tripping it big pete comes in and uh hey buddy you know he talks like hey little buddy and hey big buddy (laughs) all right yeah i'm just trying to sleep so he takes something to sleep he takes some kind of sleeping medicine so about the time he's like this is a big ass giant sleeping you know he's he's not quiet farting and snoring (laughs) and you know (laughs) in his little room but i'm like the heck with it. It's better me to deal with him than, than, than out there with them, you know. And Because uh, I felt safe in that room. Uh, but everything around me just felt bad. The whole place felt bad. But that whatever reason, that room felt safe. And that's the room I wanted to sleep. And I could just hear weird noises and stuff. And then next thing you know, you hear this, like, blood-curdling scream. Wah! And it was the dude, Lee. Uh, he, and then after you hear that, right, all, all you hear at the door is, like, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom. And uh, Lee, Lee has that Bible. He has the Bible. <laughs> he goes, can I come stay in here with you guys? He never wanted to talk about what happened in that room I wouldn't take. He never wanted to talk about it, but he slept. This room was tiny. Like, like, like the beds were uh, closer than me and you, like the beds. And there was this little yeah. area, and our luggage was in there. It was really little, and the luggage just stacked there. So he just climbed in over and slept in between us. So it was like three dudes, like, <laughs> like pretty much spooning each other. Either way you spooned, you got some kind of penis or butt in your oh, face. Oh, God. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm, like, like and, and you try to, I went to you all the way because, there was snoring. He was snoring down that way. So I turned that way. So I had feet in my face. <laughs> like, oh, my you God. Know? Um, but, yeah, t- terrifying. Yeah. So I, I do believe it's spirits. This morning, I don't know if that was my imagination getting the better of me. Uh, but I don't know why. The dog was looking at it. I'm like, what are you looking at? I thought the dog was giving me the business watching it do the boot scoot boogie across there. Yeah. And then, uh, but it was looking over me. And when I turned around, it was that shadow right there, like long, like a person. It was zoom, gone. I was like, whoa, and I look around, and I see my shadow over there. I go, was that my own thing? I see my own shadow? But it was way behind me, you know, the way the light was hitting. Yeah. And, uh, man, I, and the dog was just looking. <laughs> I like, looked at the dog, and we just kind of motored on inside, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. So, yeah, I totally believe in all that. But I, I do question about celebrating Halloween. It was my it was my absolute favorite holiday. Now I'm, like, really at a crossroads on whether. Yeah. Uh, not because the church says this or this or that. It's just... I believe in God. I could tell you stories all day long why I believe in God. Uh, but I, I just don't know. I, this is something that's been weighing heavy on me, and it's creeping into me, and, 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 and I don't it know. Happens. These are questions that's I'm fine. asking. And that's totally fine, you know? Yeah, uh, so... Uh, what do you, th- you, you, you? I asked you what you thought, right? I just started yeah. rambling. Though, what no, you're, you're good. I, I, I'm on the same boat as you are because it's like you know. Yeah, because you said Dominican big, Republic, you didn't. Yeah, celebrate. we don't celebrate it. So it's like when I came here, I was like, oh, but I didn't really know where it even came from. But I mean, if you really think about it, there's like. I mean, look, Raymond. I guess Raymond. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, Raymond <laughs> celebrates Halloween, obviously. No, he definitely. I mean, but it's cool it. things like the jack o' lanterns <laughs> with the the candles and this car. But look at how scary they are. and um. And if you notice, most horror movies are around Halloween or yeah. something, you know, or Friday the 13th, you know, the most traditional ones. Or there's like know. another one coming out. It's like called Thanksgiving. And I saw the trailer and I was <laughs> like, I was like, what the hell? Was Thanksgiving's a horror movie? Oh my God. It was or like this like guy like hunting Na- people down and then they like, is he like Native American like or something? A, like no, something. it has like that, a mask, kind of no, looks like the, Ven, Ven, what is it, Vendetta or whatever? Vendetta, V for Vendetta. Kinda, like, yeah, kind of oh, looks no, like, the mask kind of looks like, like it. Edge. Yeah. 